This question involves formic acid, another weak acid. <clears throat> and it tells us that uh, this solution is 0.311 molar in formic acid. It says separately that we also have sodium formate. And it tells us the concentration of that is 0.189 molar. It then asks us to calculate the final pH of this solution, and it gives us the Ka value of uh, formic acid as being 1.77 times 10 to the negative fourth. This is very much like the problem that we just did, but I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. Uh, sodium formate is a very strong electrolyte, that is, it's an ionic compound that's very soluble in water, which means it's going to dissociate virtually 100%, that is, it has a one-way arrow into its separate ions, sodium and hydrogen formate. Because we're starting out with 0.189 molar sodium uh, formate, and this dissociates completely in a one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one ratio, the final concentration of each of these ions is also going to be 0.189 molar. Now we look up here. Uh, formic acid, which happens to be the acid that uh, red ants inject you with when they bite you, if you've ever experienced that, it's kind of fun, is going to dissociate in an equilibrium way. And the reason is because it's not a strong acid, so there's going to be a two-way arrow into H+, plus and uh, CO2H minus, and I can rewrite that to look like this thing, because indeed it is that thing, it is formate. So it gives H plus off and formate. In order to determine the final uh, pH, we're going to need to determine the final equilibrium concentration of H plus. How do we do that? By doing an ice table. Now in the past, when we've done ice tables with weak acids, all we've needed is the Ka, and, uh, and then we've been able to kind of do some math stuff to figure out what the final concentration equilibrium of the H plus is and then calculate the pH from there. This setting is a little bit different, however, and the reason is because we don't just have formic acid by itself. We have formic acid in a solution with sodium formate. Why do we care about that? Well, the reason is because sodium formate gives off formate. Is formate something that you see up here? Yes, it is. It's a common ion, that is, it's an ion that is in common with the ions, or is one of the ions, on the right side of this equation. So because I've thrown both of these in the same container, the sodium formate will go here and feed back or push back the arrow to some extent, and thereby alter the final concentration of H+. Does that make sense? It's the common ion effect, and it's a little bit more complicated than the traditional ice table, but not by much. The one way, really, in which the common ion effect changes things is that the initial concentration of this thing is not zero. Normally it would be zero if we didn't have this thing in the solution, but because we have this thing in solution, the initial concentration right at the beginning becomes 0.189 molar. The initial concentration of H+, plus, however, remains zero. Got it? Let's move forward then. So, gradually the uh, concentration of formic acid is going to change by an amount, which I will call X, and it's going to decrease as this goes back and forth and back and forth until reaching equilibrium. Because it's present in a one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one ratio with these ions on the right, the H plus concentration is going to increase correspondingly by plus X, as is the formate concentration. We add row 1 to row 2, we get 0 0.311 minus X as the final equilibrium concentration of formic acid. Zero plus X, or just X, as the final equilibrium concentration of H plus, and 0.189 plus X is the final equilibrium concentration of HCO2 minus or formate. Now Ka, which is given to me up here, is equal to the equilibrium concentration of H plus multiplied by the equilibrium concentration of formate divided by the equilibrium concentration of formic acid. That is the Ka expression for this uh, equilibrium setting. So what I have to do is take each of these numbers, or these values, and put them in for their respective terms up here, and then solve for x. So Ka is going to equal 1.77 times 10 to the negative fourth, which is going to be equal to x, multiplied by 0.189 plus x, divided by 0.311 minus x. Now there's a trick which I showed you in a previous example as well, and that is this. These x values, because you're dealing with a weak acid, it's going to be so small compared to 0.311 that you can basically throw it out. If you actually had the number x, threw it in there and subtract it from 0.311, it would be like, the answer would be so close to 0.311 that you can just ignore it. Same thing with the 0.189. You can just throw out this x term, 
So that simplifies things a little bit. Gives us 0.189x divided by 0.311 being equal to this Ka value. Using the magic of algebra, I'll have you solve for x. You can go ahead and try that now if you like. When I did that, I ended up getting a value of x of uh, 2.91 times 10 to the negative fourth. Now, because x is the equilibrium concentration for H+, plus, uh, I can then use my next equation, which is that pH is equal to the negative log of the equilibrium concentration of H+, plus, or, in other words, I can put in this value right here, the negative log of 2.91 times 10 to the negative fourth, and that will give me my final pH for this equilibrium solution.